Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Welcome back, playing some Brood War Alternate. Third mission of the Steel Claw, Ashes of Char, Primal Zerg, new tech tree. The Primal Zerg have discovered an abandoned Garm super weapon. Primal Zerg worship Kraken in interstellar space. Where you at, mind courier? Mind courier. Pack leader, the Dilarian Hive Cluster has been successfully destroyed. Serbet Zaz and his remaining forces seem to have withdrawn from this territory. We have consumed most of the essence of this cluster's defenders and are ready to proceed with our mission. Our scouts have contacted us with word about some broken Zerg structure, which remained intact during the fall of Char. They seem to be very excited about it. They call it the Distortion Spire, and say it is related to the Protoss somehow. Distortion Spire. More like Mind Spire. It's Mind Spire. Let's be straight. Elder. During the war, the Garm Brood was conducting large-scale research on the origins of the Overmind and the similarity of his psionic energies with those ones of the infested Terran Psychics. As a result, they have developed a number of small carryable cells called MIND NODES. Their purpose was to lure Protoss to certain places. There also is information about other parts of this project, the product of which was intended to separate Protoss from their so-called Kala, effectively making them helpless. This project was thankfully never located by the Infinity Swarm. I suspect that this MIND spire is the project they were trying to find which means the Garm Brood was never able to finish it before the Protoss attacked. But the Infinity Swarm can do it. My judgment is that the structure should be eliminated. There's no telling what Kerrigan can gain if she claims the Spire. A logical decision, Rashigal. I agree. But, Elder, this thing can be of great use in our own plans. It would be stupid to get rid of it so easily. You do not deny the Primal Zerg Pact's power to deal with any threat, even Protoss, without help of some broken Zerg mon monument of the past, do you? You start to test my patience. No, restrain yourself, First Prime. Do not forget about our true goal here, to claim essence of the Protoss Conclave and take possession of their world ship. If left unchecked, this distortion spire, mind spire, can be a threat to that mission, and so it must be eliminated. The Kraken is to head to Char right now. Bring Rashigal to the Mind Spire. Rashigal must survive. All right, this is our first big macro mission with the Primal Zerg. So I think what I'll probably do, we'll see how it is, but I may just do some experimentation and then restart. Let's check it out. Brood Leader Rashigal, since you have so gravely wanted to destroy this project, I will put you in charge of this mission. Deal with the project as soon as possible. Nothing should slow us down on the way of conquest. Right, Sifia. There's Rashigal. We got a Lurker. Chitin requires Essence Pool. We've got a Synaptic Grid. Let's start our up our attacks like as soon as possible. Pack Leader, we've detected a large presence of Protoss forces in all directions. Let's get a Bioreactor. Random group of stuff down here. Elder, there are no Templar Nexi in the area. Casual Nexus Nexi has a very limited ability to act as a relay station for the commanding executor. If we focus our efforts on destroying Protoss Nexi, we might just be able to disrupt their chain of control. Okay, we can get we can get Maelstrom on these guys. Unlock it by a reactor. Okay, looks good. So. We're familiar with the existing buildings here. We can get to the synaptic grid. We can also get a cloud piercer, which means we can probably make those Scythia, if I had to guess. 
That's being extraction plant. I guess this is our chance to try this out. See, here's my question. Does it need to be completely bordering the guys? Like, this is where we can experiment a little bit, because I'm. this is all going to be new to me. So let's wait for plus one attack there and try to start getting out some, uh, some more wardens. And then we can upgrade the wardens, too. We can get maelstrom. That might be worth getting pretty quick. Okay, let's grab uh, another warden down there. It looks like we have two entrances, two main entrances there and there. Um, okay. And then Prime Links will be worth it once we get this uh, plus one upgrade. I don't know what's going to be required to get plus two. So we're going to get a constant stream of Vespin for having this here. Dark Swarm on top of that. Let's get these guys into the swarm. That's done. I guess we're going to need more Wardens down here. Yeah, Swarm doesn't help there. So can we... I assume we can stack this up. I also want to try it to see, like, do we need to be right on it, or can we be slightly diagonal as long as one tile is touching? I'm going to assume as long as one tile is touching. Wow, I really screwed myself with this Swarm, didn't I? Save him! Oh, shit. I made a purifier down here instead. Pretty large attacks to get started here. Um, getting fast Maelstrom would be nice. Let's, uh, I mean, I'm definitely going to restart after this, but I want to see if maybe... Oh, well, Grashkel's going to die. Is she not cloaked? They, oh, they, have, they must have an observer here. Okay, pretty large attacks. I love how I got a purifier. So it's R for purifier, W for warden. So let's let's keep making these. And see how it works. Again, maybe it, I, if we could just make a limitless number of these around this, like we could probably squeeze like six or seven even, and you get two per. Because we're definitely getting four now per tick. Okay. Get harvesting. This is done. We're getting six per tick. Let's queue up one more. Right there, because we know it's touching. We're getting eight per tick. Again, none of these are, like, right on the corner, though, so we can't really see. And there's some unbuildable terrain here to stop me from trying to add even more. Um, probably level up the Primal Warden attacks here. We need more Sakari to help us against air units. Poor Rashagal getting smoked. She'll slowly get her HP back. This purifier is going to irritate me. I did it again! I did it again! Cancel it! <laughs> oh, my God. No, we're still getting eight per. Maybe it caps at eight. Okay, well, I've made a number of mistakes here, so let's let's restart. We understand now more the... Uh... Well, wait. Now we can also see this. We need a synaptic grid for level two, which requires a cloud piercer. So I think what we do is we get double essence pools. You need lurk. You get lurkers from the essence pools. We want to get double bioreactors so we can level up our wardens pretty quick. We need some extra Sakari. We really just need extra wardens in each of these locations, and then get to lurkers to get rid of that large group of zealots. Or maelstrom would also work. Okay, so with that, let's restart. We don't have to read the text. We can just kind of get going here. So go ahead and start harvesting. Okay, so I just skipped some of the first, like, intro minutes. So here comes that group of scouts. They came from a different location this time. It's random. One thing I've, I've decided to do here is I am going to... Oh, look at these assholes. I am going to... God, look at how terrible these primlings are. Rush to lurkers. Lurkers seem extremely important. Flee back to this. So I started that upgrade, but instead of plus one, right away. Okay, back up. These primelings are so bad. <laughs> okay, so again, just waiting for this to be done, and we're just going to make a bunch of extra lurkers. That seems like the right choice. I don't know how much they actually cost. Let's go ahead and throw down some more wardens over here. All right, that's done. 125, 125. Again, it, it seems like lurkers are the key here because they're these very, very large attacks. Also, they seem to be coming in with shuttles and dropping over here like a bunch of jerks. So let's set up an extra warden over there. And then I think Maelstrom also would be the right 
choice, but I can't quite afford it. Let's put that there. I don't want to risk making one of these in the wrong spot. Okay. So let's start cycling some saves. That's done. Lurker, come on down here. Well, it really depends on which side they attack from. I, I don't know. Maybe just put them right on the ramps, you know? Maybe some extra Sakaris, and then... One more of these. Okay, the Wardens at least can tank for us. Unupgraded... I mean, upgrading them more seems like a bit of overkill. I mean, we should save our money. Yeah, we need more Sakari though, eventually. Yes, pull them into the... No, why would you chase us? Okay, there we go. There you go. Come help us. More Lurkers, please. More of these. We got Maelstrom coming out for our leaders. So we can Maelstrom uh, those big Zealot groups. No, don't... Do not make... Purifiers, please. Research complete. Okay, that's done. Now we get primal attacks level one. And then probably just start making extra wardens because it seems like there are these pretty large groups. And then Duran's got the dark swarm for us just in case. So maybe set this up here. I'm going to get another essence. I, I don't know if I should do that or not. I don't know if I should do that now or not. It seems like Lurker's, again, going to be the right choice. Oh, it's these assholes. Wait. Does Maelstrom work? Yes, it does. It works on buildings. God, that's the worst. Okay, back up. Build another ward in there, I guess. This is a little stressful just because it all depends on which direction they all decide to attack you from. Okay, let's move this guy over. Maelstrom there. This is where the overlapping lurker fire is useful. We don't even need Maelstrom. Okay. Then come on down here. We seem to be safe. Just gotta rebuild stuff. Oh my goodness. Come on up here. We can use Duran to Dark Swarm, or Rashigal, actually. Come on up here. At least that stuff's relatively cheap. Grab Dark Swarm for now. There we go. Now we gotta rebuild these. Not a big deal, that's okay. More Lurkers. Burrow. Make Wardens. Yeah, these attacks are very large. <laughs> They're all pretty big. I'm going to save because, again, we're, we're living. But it's not easy. I would like another Evolver. Let's get a Cloud Piercer so that we can get to that Synaptic Node. Never mind. Just kidding. I didn't actually want to do that anyway. So come on down here. We're going to make more Wardens. Okay, make sure we have leaders at each entrance such that we can... Maelstrom Zealot groups. Remember, we can repair with this, with these units. Let's keep doing that. I'm just making Research. lots of lurkers. Seems like the only way to stay alive here. So if we defend this area down here strongly, then we can attack down these ramps into the enemy, which should work a bit better. Okay, that's just about done. Make another one here for gas. Got a, enough guys on on minerals, I'd say. So now let's go back to Sakari. I do not like one bit those, um... Let's look, kind of spread these out. Those, uh, those things that can storm, those are awful. Those are just awful. Okay, here come these. Wow, that was good timing, I guess. Maelstrom here. That's pretty helpful. Uh, let's grab the Zerg Regeneration and then get uh, the Cloud Piercer. 
Still can't afford it. Okay, we seem to be looking good. I think, honestly, the structure carapace is way more valuable, I'd say. If we can increase the armor there, that would be so much more useful. Okay, I'm gonna say, this is a pretty intense first map. We just gotta be ready every time they're attacking us. Can I get that? How much is the Cloud Piercer? 175 gas. Yeah, losing Naz did hurt. Did hurt quite a bit. I guess we'll make one Warden over here in case they try to flank us again. That's gonna be useful. Now we can start the Cloud Piercer, so let's do that. And we're gonna need more leaders. Make sure we have enough money to do it. Nope, not quite. There you go. I mean, it doesn't hurt to Maelstrom. It's like you need to rely on those abilities really early. I am concerned about this down here, though. Let's repair, repair, repair. I keep forgetting you can repair. That's so strange. Uh, let's start getting Prime Links. Never mind. We need leaders. We only need one more leader, though. Primelings are only one supply, that's good. And then, no, there's no way to rally. Okay. Wacky stuff. When this is done, I will start the level two thing. Let's grab another essence. Eh, no, that, that's a bit superfluous. Okay, so now we're gonna grab the synaptic grid. It even makes the burning sound when it's burning down. Very interesting. No! We gotta maelstrom these constantly, because, like, what a... That's just the worst. That is just terrible. If you don't notice those, they just obliterate you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Primal Zerg Carapace. I will, in fact, get another one of these, because it's relatively cheap. We can make Scythia now. Fast Flying Raider. I don't know if that's really what I want to make here. Uh, okay, so more lurkers and primelings. Now the question is like, I want to go down there and attack, but I don't know if I can really afford to right now. All right, synaptic grid, that's a noise. Oh Lord. Plague for those flying assimilator things. Increased energy regen seems really good too. Instead for now, I'm just gonna start. Oh, hello. They're not locked into building. Whoops. Um, just get back to mining. Okay, there you go. Now start primal attacks plus two. I think I am going to grab amplified neurons. And then with our extra minerals, we just make more... Uh, primelings. Zerglings, primelings. And we're gonna move down here and attack here pretty soon, as long as we have enough anti-air, but we bring the leaders to Dark Swarm and we should be fine. So we gotta do a lot with very little. See some units going down the other way. Get ready to Maelstrom. Oh my god. Well, they're getting stuck on the ramp at least. That is, so, there's a lot of zealots on this map. Holy shit. That is a lot. Uh, I'll, I guess we have to research Plague. I don't know if that's really worth it. I'm getting the increased energy regeneration, which is going to be fan flippin' tasket. Flan, fan flippin' tastic. That's what I said. Um, we might as well get attacks down here. That is so many scouts. Can we Plague this, please? Very well. And then we gotta move down here, and we could Dark Swarm them with the leaders that are here. I was gonna start attacks. That is a very large scout attack. Is that brown or was that red? I can't tell because they were plagued. Okay. I'd say it's about time we try to go and attack um, down at the bottom there. We have the... Titans now as well. Those are expensive. Sakari, Sakari. Never mind. We need leaders. I'm going to save. Let's try it. We got to get down here with the uh, 
the lurkers first, which is going to be challenging. There's a geyser right there. We want to take that pretty quickly. Like, I see one High Templar down here, so, like, Maelstrom him so that he doesn't storm. And then move up with all of these guys. It's a lot of scouts. Do I have enough for a Dark Swarm? I do. So, like, pop these guys in here. And then move up with the Lurkers and then keep attacking buildings. Okay, cool. More of these guys. And I think we've got I think we've got this under control. We just gotta finish up these buildings. It's hard to see lurkers. That's the only problem. We should probably just hotkey them. Okay, burrow here. Y'all get down here and help us. No! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's there. Hang on. Oh, not enough energy. Oh, it's dead already. Okay, get down here. Help us out. Lost a lot of our lurkers there, unfortunately. Let's lurker it up. This seems to work. This seems to be working. Depower these structures, please, if possible. Need to kill this one cannon. Okay, move on up. Bring these leaders down. And we got more lurkers. Let's make primelings and primelings. We could do Scythias now. I'm gonna grab one assimilator and grab plague. Oh, okay. Never mind, we're fleeing. You know, I realize we don't have a very good counter to carriers unless you have enough uh, enough uh, Sakari. Overall, that just went poorly. Um, especially just the timing of these two carriers. You need to make sure that you have the Scythia, not Scythia, Sakari with the Swarm. So let's load up where we were. I'm going to try this attack again. And let's not run in range. Let's just, like, very slowly make our way through this base this time. And stick to the left. Yeah, like this. It's working. I'm gonna throw down that plague. I'm gonna grab an assimilator so that we can continue plaguing. And then we need Sakari. Not enough gas. Okay, that's fine. Lurkers are great because we can just bleed them dry, right? And then eventually those carries will come, we'll Dark Swarm, all will be well with the world. Okay, this area is okay. I guess we should bring Duran or Rashagal or, you know, whoever it is. They have the same same model, essentially. Unburrow. Then burrow here. As long as they can't see me with the storm. That's the only thing that really screws me. And then we need Sakari for anti-air. Upgrades are all going. We just need... Yeah, we need more gas. God, that is the worst. Three? <laughs> I love how their auto attack is storm and the damage stacks. That is just silly. These things are just silly. I'm sure at one point we'll be able to use them, but... They're still 100% garbage, and I will not change my mind on this. I'd rather not have them at all than have them be in the game. Okay. We are saving up some resources. I'm going to do the same thing, except we'll move down with a leader this time so that we can maelstrom those things in time. There we go. And now we're basically just covering the lurkers. 
And the other thing, too, is if, if you just don't see them coming in, then you're in trouble. That's it. Like, if you don't see them at the moment that they're coming towards you, you're screwed. That's the that's one of the that's one of the other major problems I have with him. I could come down here and start taking this gas. That's what I was saying earlier. And I guess we need to spread out because there's bullshit units that come in and, and have Cyanic Storm as an auto attack. <laughs> I guess what that means is they're not super pro at using it uh, in the right places. I don't know. I'm gonna make more lurkers. There they are. There we go. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Don't you dare. Okay. Get over there and kill these things. Upgrades. Can't afford them. They also have a shit ton of HP! As long as all my lurkers don't die. There we go. I think one of them turned around and left. That's okay. So you all come on down here. We're going to finish brown. Uh, bring our leaders as well. Because we need Dark Swarm for when those carriers pop out. Okay, unburrow. Now we have enough lurkers that we can probably just move in. Okay, this should work just fine. Let's Dark Storm a little bit further up. Continue making Sakari and Primelings. Let's focus the carriers. You guys, I don't know why you're not attacking. They're leaving? I think they're leaving. Lurkers move up. Just kill air units. There we go. Okay. Cool. I think we've done it. Let's save, because it's an okay start. It's not a great start, but it's an okay start. And then upgrades. I never got that plague. Primal attacks plus three. Sounds good. Okay, and then you all move up. There's never enough Dark Swarm. Never enough. Move in right here. Burrow. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I think we have done it. No, that was a mistake. Back out of it. Back out of it. Back out of it. No, it wasn't a mistake. It's fine. Get in the swarm. My lurkers are doing their thing. I'm going to make primelings because I can afford them, and then we're going to come down here and make uh, a base. Apparently, it's going to take forever to just get through this base. <laughs> I guess the thing with the Primelings is you can't flood with them as you might do otherwise. So that makes a big difference. I'm going to start Structure Carapace. We're going to come down with the rest of these. Uh, next step is I'm going to swarm up here and move the Lurkers up. Lurkers under Swarm, pretty powerful. Anyone have enough energy to kill these, uh... I think, I think we got her. Okay, let's move on in. We're stasis, unfortunately. But this is one down, three to go. So we're, this is going to be a longer one for sure. Make primelings and primelings. Okay, and again, our primelings now are, like, absolutely killing it. Just as I thought, the Protoss cannot harm us without the Nexus to relay as the Executor's orders. Great. Yeah, they're inactive now. Okay, so we got two bases here that we can take. So let's come down here and take this other one as well. Because we're going to need all these resources. Never mind, we got to wait for this. Burrowed Lurkers, you can't box, select, and attack with them, which is mildly annoying. We're going to Maelstrom right here. 
It's going to hit Duran, but that's okay. okay. That's done, so we can transfer our drones. Okay, goodbye, Brown. Harvest, harvest. What happened to these? I thought I sent them down. There they go. Okay. Oh, I saw you up here trying to get into position. All right, y'all move back here. I'm going to split these lurkers because I need half of them probably up here and then half of them down here. Let's also save because, you know, okay start. Pretty challenging, but we did it. And how much for uh, 350? That's an interesting amount. Okay, and I would much rather them attack up this ramp where I can handle them. Must focus on the task. Let's get there. We got our leaders. And I'm going to need more leaders, so build them out here. Okay, and then we need the 350 to, to set this up. Primeling. Unless something's dropping, this area seems relatively safe. So let's just move all our lurkers up here. So I mean they don't get stormed. Again, those are the only bullshit units that I'm like, ah. I don't know how I feel about that. Purple is going to be next. Looks like it might be completely on the high ground. I don't know. Back up, back up, back up. Maelstrom right there. Maelstrom, more of them. And then this stuff can handle it. Build a lair. Citadel. Okay. Now, again, as we're getting fully upgraded, we are extremely strong now. So I'm going to grab that plague. And we just got to wait for minerals, unfortunately, which is unfortunate. Let's move these guys down here. There's an entryway where it seems like purple drops. I don't really need more gas, but we can get these set up. That's the thing. Like, you don't need too many ga you don't need too many geysers here. I don't think so, at least. Okay, let's do that. So here's the thing. We could do sky piercers and go mass Siphias. I kind of want to try it. Let's go structure carapace. And then get, like, a warden here, just in case. And then once this is done, we've got this whole other base. I'm going to move a couple more lurkers. Let's move one more lurker down here. They do a butt-ton of damage now that they're upgraded. I think it's kind of getting over that hump with these primal missions. Yeah, this is going to be a long map, but uh, it was more of an experimentation as well to figure out, like, what the heck is even available to us. Let's move down with Rashagal and this leader. Agreed. They shouldn't bother us in our main base, but we're going to go for purple next anyway. Research complete. We're getting more gas? Yes, so we're getting up. Now we're getting 10. That's okay, we killed it. I, I hate these so much. Why are they the way that they are? <laughs> I hate them. Keep maelstroming. The fact that they can, they work through, they attack buildings too. They're coming from orange, which is like pretty far away. Okay, no problem. We'll rebuild that. That one warden was in a good spot to draw fire away from the lurkers as well. So let's get some wardens along this ledge. Large group of shit get down here, and then we just gotta maelstrom them. Maelstrom them as usual, right there. And then our zerglings or primelings just tear through them. Looks like they just completely avoided me, so we're gonna come like here. This is just a fascinating way to play. It's so different and it's hard to get used to, but it's very, very cool. Okay. Oh, that's way too many leaders. Holy shit. We don't need those. We need gatherers. Okay, come on down here. I'm gonna make one warden. 
And what I can do now is start making Scythias. We're gonna need more Sky Piercers, but I kind of want to just make a bunch of them and see how they are when, now that they're upgraded. Because when they're not upgraded, they seem pretty garbage. But when they are upgraded, they may be just truly excellent, and it's hard to tell. So in an ideal world where we have more resources to start with, we would want double bioreactors, double essence pools, and just slam out upgrades as fast as possible. That would be the goal. Uh, I'm gonna make a second Cloud Piercer here. We can siege down the stuff on the ledge here with both Plague and, uh, well, we have a, vari we have a variety of options. Uh, Gatherus. Uh, I don't know what I expected. Back up. Come on over here. We're gonna just Dark Swarm. Okay, Scythia. Eh, they don't do that much more, but they attack really fast. Again, high-armored stuff is gonna counter them, like, near perfectly. That's part of the problem. Okay, just move into the swarm. I keep hitting D for drone. It's A. Oh, no, I'm hitting D. Yeah, D for drone. That gives us the leader, which costs a bunch of extra money. Okay, so well, let's build, uh, yeah, I don't know my hotkeys either. Throw that down there. Y'all get back to mining. The cloud piercer coming up. I'm gonna grab a couple assimilators. Never mind, we'll make the leaders back here. God, that noise. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, y'all get mining. I know it's not overlords, but it's leaders, but it is what it is. It, yeah, not having, um... Rally points, again, I just can't stress enough how much that is makes this more challenging. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here, and I'm gonna... Well, we just need some vision too. Let's get uh, let's get one of these assimilators, and we're just gonna start sieging down from there. Plus three carapace is awesome. That is so useful. I'll get primal warden attacks now. Start getting some more lurkers. I like how our defenses can kind of hold their own once you upgrade them. Everything about these things sucks. Everything about them sucks. Uh, okay. Let's see how much vision we can get over here. You know what? No, let's just wait for this. Yeah, the assimilator is what I want. What else can you do? Just plagues, but it can also load up. So we're probably going to need a couple of them. Keep making Scythia because we can afford them. And then keep making leaders. Cannot quite afford that. Okay, more gas just in case. So here's what I want to do. I want to swarm like here. Let's also save because we're about to make our, our move. This is going to take a long time. This map's going to be long. But that's partly because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. And then you all just move in there and then hold position. Uh, they're a lot, the queens are a lot slower. Nice. No zealots. That's good for me. There's, there's some zealots. Get the primelings in there to help us out. Okay, cool. And then we're going to move these over here. To burrow. Let's move on up and swarm over those. We're bleeding them dry. We're bleeding them dry. There you go. Okay, and then we're gonna keep. We're gonna make a bunch of Scythia to kind of cover us as we go and attack up there. And the Scythia are pretty tanky, as we've learned. All right, come on down here. How many would we realistically need to make a dent in this, though? I don't know. And then we're gonna need more. Oh god, we're gonna probably gonna make a lot of front line production just because it's really hard to keep track of the no rally points. 
Okay, how are you guys gonna do? Let's try this out. Uh, eh. I really don't want to have to drop, but I'm going to. Load him up. Load him up. Let's bring a leader with us as well. Ah! Reavers, no! Okay, back up here. Sorry, I'm very. I'm gonna be very, very, very slow at this uh, at this primal race for these first several missions. There's really no way around it. Okay, lurkers, hydralisks. Got a leader in here as well. You all come on down here. I just gotta make more evolvers, I think. And then what we do is we swarm, and then we drop inside the swarm. That's the plan. So. Interesting stuff, but it, and it should work. <laughs> Emphasis on should. Okay, leaders. I might be overplaying this. We just have to go and kill purple next, which should not be that hard. So let's save. I'm gonna attack with the Scythia right here. I'm gonna unload right here. And I'm gonna swarm right here. And luckily, they just started attacking us here, so we can just Maelstrom. Okay, and then we gotta get up here with the rest of these Scythia. Kill the cannons, and then kill the production structures, and we should be all good. These are very interesting, and you can see they don't do great against unarmored tar or high armored targets, rather. Just keep the swarm up. I'd like to depower all these uh, all these gateways because that's where all these zealots are coming from. Okay, I think we did it. Now we just need more uh, Sakari and primal primlings, and we can also make um, chitons now, and we can we can afford them, which is awesome. Okay, unburrow. Oh, and purple is uh, no longer hostile, so what we can do is now bring a gatherus up here to take their base, and now we've got red and orange. Which are like way across the map, unfortunately, so we got some work to do. Tempting to just make a bunch of these Scythia. Just keep making them. We're fully, we're 3-3 three, three now. I'd love to figure out where, the, again, those orange things are coming from. Red will probably be next. Okay, let's get this set up. And the amount of gas that we get is so good. It's so good. It does. They don't deplete. You just like straight up siphon it. Now we got to get these jerks down. I'll leave some lurkers up here in case some of the other units try to. Some of the other AI tries to come up and attack us. Let's just start, scout, start scouting in different directions and see the right way to go. Uh, we got enough leaders here. Let's make a few more. The fact that our Supply providing units are so useful. It's awesome. Okay, looks like a bunch of stuff on the outskirts here. See, this is what I expected. Is red is not just gonna let us have this. Okay, let's make more Scythia. This is a point where, like, it seems like the map is so large that I might make a cut as we, like, sort of prepare ourselves, because it seems like this is going to take a while. And it's already been a really long mission.
the beginning was really hard, but as as is usual, at a certain point it starts becoming just so much easier. Nice job, lurkers. You want to actually just stay where you are. All right, so I'm going to move a Zergling down here because I want to go for red next. Make a group of Wardens down here. I'm going to leave, I think, these... Just leave some Lurkers up here just in case, and we'll build uh, a couple Wardens, and we'll build more Gatherises. Those are leaders. Not G, it's A. Good Lord. We'll get used to it here eventually. Right, come on down here. Get dropped. So goofy. So goofy. But there's a there's a real charm to this. It's it's just very different, that is for sure. Okay, so now we got more resources. Just trying to hold on to those resources here and make more wardens, just in case. We own our side of the map. There's virtually nothing that they can do to stop us. We keep trying to come down here and something's killing us, and I don't know what it is. So let's just send one more Primeling, even though Primelings are not cheap. I mean, they're kind of cheap. Okay, there's like a carrier there. Let's see how a group of Scythia does against a carrier. There's two. Uh, oh god, oh god, no, <laughs> oh that's, that's deeply unfortunate if that's how that's gonna work, gotta use them maybe in conjunction with plague, I don't know, right, come on down here, no, 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 not you, swarm, kill, kill, swarm further up, Yeah, you need to use the Sakari for that. Uh, we've hemorrhaged stuff up here, so we gotta make some lurkers, some more lurkers, to make sure that these orange motherfuckers don't get through. I don't think orange is sending any other units, though. Which is quite nice. So what I'm gonna do is bring down everything that I've got down to this area and start taking out the outskirts of red. I could also try to just snipe their hatchery. Or, not their hatchery, their nexus. My two. I mean, I could do that and then just reload if it doesn't work. So we're going to make more Scythia and we'll give that a go. Could, like, run in and plague it. It really depends on what's on the rest of this map. I can't really see it. So move on up. Let's bring these lurkers, too. It's just, it's placed so differently. It's just so different. No, 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 wrong thing. <laughs> All right. Jay Barino takes two hours to beat first major primal macro mission. Confirmed. Lead with a dark swarm as usual. Right there. Get in there. May have gone overboard with the Scythia here. Oh, my God. Burrow. Well, get in there. Scythia will be really good against Archons because they take the full damage from everything. Every damage type, I should say. But this... It's just like a goofy little outpost they had out in the middle of nowhere, and it's drawing some of their units out to, to attack us, which is good for me. All of you come down here as well. Make a ton of Primelings. And Kaitans. Um... I don't have... Do I have one down here? Yeah, go back home. We gotta lift up some of these drones and take them to our other base. Look out. There you go. Okay, so one group of Scythia may not be enough. So that's group one. Uh, 
Dark Swarm and not really helping us here. Okay, so group one, and then group two. How many carriers are there? Good God, group two. Oh my God. <laughs> Give it a rest already. Okay, and then up here we need just more Sakari, Lurkers. Let's not forget to load these guys up to go and gather from our other base. Oh no! <laughs> I hate you so much. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a run for this. Ignore this stuff and just, just right, let's save. And then we're just gonna try to take red straight out. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, we might get stormed. Like, cannons I'm not concerned about. I'm mostly just concerned about storm. So let's see if this works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, red. All right. And then we got to go for orange. Maybe we can go, out, like, down and around them and do the same thing. That's my plan. They obviously can storm us, which is a problem. Uh, where are you at, Duran? I actually don't know where. I actually don't know where Duran is. But we have to walk him to this beacon, so we gotta find him soon. There's the distortion spire. Ah! Ah! That's that's the only thing I had to watch out for. Once we're through the shields, we should be fine. It's because they've upgraded their shields. Once the stasis is up, this thing is dead. Well, maybe not. I don't know. It's so close. Make more. We could just make dives on this thing. I'll save just because the, the stacked up storm. They're separating, though, so that's a plus. It's because the protests have upgraded their, um, their shields. Man, that one stasis killed us. That's It's the only thing that saved them. I hate these things. Stasis chambers. All right. Okay. There are so many of these, too. Look at that. If those weren't in this map, we would have been done so much earlier. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> ah, that's too bad. We would have been done so much earlier if we didn't have to worry about those stupid things. Orange doesn't really send attack waves. They only send these uh, these stupid things. So we can just go and you know wipe out most of red. There is Dur or Rashigal, Rashigal. So let's uh, I guess walk in and destroy this stuff. It, we don't want the uh, we don't want the shields to come back because they leveled up plus three shields. That's why it took long to get through the shields. But the hull itself goes down real quick from the Scythia, so we can just do the same thing. A little bit of cheese here or there. We got to make groups of lurkers and hotkey them because it's easy to lose track of them as they run in. Mm. Perhaps I'll try it with this group. And I'll save again in case it doesn't work. Never got mining again. We're out of income. And again, if this doesn't work, like, there's no way we can lose at this point. We're mostly just waiting. I mean, I could also fly in circles and bait the storms, but they're, they're auto-attacking with the storms. As far as I can tell, they don't need to use energy, which I think is hilarious. I think I heard a Dark Templar somewhere. Oh, no, that's, that's, uh, Rashadol. Okay. Uh, again, let's save and just give this a go. We just need we just need to kill this one building, so it really shouldn't be that hard, but the stacked storms kind of prevent you from doing it, that's all. <laughs> I 
Hang on, we gotta bait the first group of storms. That's it. We gotta bait the first group of storms. Did I just save over it? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Uh, let me just make more Syphia. And then we're just gonna make a run for it. We, you know, we're taking a little bit of health off of it here or there. We can also just auto attack with everything we've got. To eventually just kind of get in there and kill it. Because if all they have are pre-placed units and cannons and then these goofy stasis cells, this should be no problem. And in fact, running in with this with these groups the way that we're doing should work a bit better. My children. Simply because they're not running in clumped up. Wow. I mean, our groups of units are pretty powerful, but like those those units are just bullshit. <laughs> As I've said a few times. Oh, they have arbiters also. Okay, I love how I just ended up saving over it. My goal here is to try to lure their other units out. I could also maybe fly up there and plague it. Let's try that. We could probably easily just plague it. See, this is luring them out from the front, so this should do it. You guys come on over here. I'm just going to fly in with one of the primal assimilators and just throw a plague on it, and then we just have to burn through the shields again, so... Weird stuff, weird stuff. It's a little slow, but that's okay. My units at the front maybe have pulled them away. No, it didn't. It did. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go. So now we fly in. We give it a little poke. It took us three tries to do this. Uh, I could have done it after the second try, but alas, I, I screwed it up. Man, just <laughs> attacking into mass psionic storm. I don't know how I feel about that. There we go. Okay, and then Duran, I once again saved over your hotkey. I think I walked him up here. Okay, casually walk to the beacon because there's nothing else active on this map. That seemed okay. Why did they do so little damage against the hulls of... I mean, carriers are probably at a plus six. It's either plus five or plus six with their base armor and then the plus three um, armor. Therefore, our Scyphia are only doing like one damage per attack on the hull. So that's why we cannot use these to counter carriers in any quick fashion. In fact, I don't know what our counter to carriers is going to be. We know that... Oh, you know what? They have guardians and devourers, don't they? We just don't have access to them yet. All right, this was a long mission. I had fun with it, though. It was very hard at the beginning and became very easy at the end, as is usual for large maps like this. Pack leader, we have reached the de the mind spire. We should we prepare to destroy it? Brood leader, we're here to deal with the mind spire by order of first prime Dahaka. If you say so, it's yours then. Pack leader, I shall return to the Kraken now. Alrighty. Even just like a little call out to the original where only one ghost shows up at first and then the rest decloak after he's like, all right, fine. I think that's neat. Hey, we did it. How long was this one? Hour and a half? Only 40, that doesn't seem right. It felt a lot longer than that. I'm looking at the the file size, and it seems way longer. I guess I had to reload a couple times, so the video will be longer than that. But yeah, this felt like it took a lot longer. In any case, we did it. That was fun. We're going to be going into some Primal versus Zerg maps coming up here pretty soon, which means we're going to have to deal with a lot of Plague and Broodling spawn. But otherwise, I think that we're very well equipped to deal with Zerg. Um, my concern are those, if they also have access to those hybrid, which I don't think they will... It seems like the Protoss are the only ones that have access to the hybrid, and that's like their equivalent of Infested Terran, except they're way better and a bunch of bullshit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.